Valentino Rossi, the only rider in the field, no great surprise, that was racing here at the Red Bull Ring when it was called the A1 Ring back in the mid to late 1990s. His first ever World Championship podium came here. What happened here? Top of the screen, top of the screen. They've made contact. Oh. Zarco comes around and he's going to try and take a defensive Look at line. Look Then he's blind. Oh, oh, Rossi. Oh, dearie me. Rossi's dodged I, can't, oh, I cannot believe oh, it. Watch Valentino well, Rossi here. Watch oh that. Oh, my goodness, oh my mate. goodness. That bike missed Valentino Rossi's head. Oh, my by God. By fractions. Oh. This is oh. on board with Valentino. Watch this. This is going to be horrendous. Out the right-hand side. Of Oh my goodness me! That, How that, lucky! There was vibration on his bike there, almost from the velocity of that motorcycle almost hitting him. Yeah, look at Brent here. Stevens there as well, shake of the head. Matteo Flamini as well, his data guy. It's almost like there, Valentino Rossi was going. Do you know what, guys? Let's call it a <laughs> day. Going yeah. out for the second race. Look at that! Look at that reaction yeah, it, from Valentino Rossi. This guy has seen absolutely everything in his 25-year career as a World Championship racer. He's seen everything, but he's not seen anything like that before. He, the World Champion is absolutely rattled, as you'd expect, the nine times World Champ. Not Santino something. Rossi here, look, he, he just looks like he's almost upset. He knows just how close that was. I mean, that was pure lap of the God stuff, that was. There is that look from Valentino Rossi. I'll tell you what, shaken and stirred with some justification. Valentino Rossi takes fifth, he's the top Yamaha. A day that he will look back on and think, so, so fortunate not to get caught up in that horrendous incident with Joe Anzarco and Franco Morbidelli. And then to refocus, regain his composure, his concentration, to go back out there, what, 20 minutes later? and put that Yamaha inside the top six and be the leading Yamaha once again. Absolutely astonishing. He had to call on all of his 41 years there, did Valentino Rossi, just so we can get back out for that restart, bearing in mind what he and his teammate Maverick Vinales would have gone through mentally. Matt, Mia. can I just say, after what happened to Valentino Rossi, what he witnessed, that just shows what that man is all about. He's just a legend. <laughs> Valentino, uh, it seems that uh, you have born today again and you are one of the luckiest guy in uh, all the paddock. So explain me, how was that uh, scary moment for you? Yes, it uh, was uh, very, very scary. It's, uh, uh, all four riders, but especially me and also Maverick, we were very lucky. Uh, we have, we have to, to pray to somebody this night. <laughs> Uh, because uh, the, the situation was uh, very dangerous. And uh, I think that um, it's good to be, to be aggressive, for sure, because uh, everybody try, try at the maximum. But uh, for me, we don't have to exaggerate, because we need to remember that uh, this sport is very dangerous. And uh, you need to have respect for, uh, for your rivals, especially in a track where uh, you go always at 300 km for hours. And uh, um, I speak already also with Zarco that uh, he promised me that uh, he don't make um, on purpose uh, because he go, he go very wide in braking and he, 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 he slat the door in front of, uh, in, in face of Franco. And with this bike, uh, when you make 300 km per hour, you have the slipstream, so Franco don't, don't have uh, any chance to, to break. And uh, after uh, I was with Maverick, we entered in the turn three, and I feel something arrive. I, I think that is the shadow of the helicopter, because sometimes the helicopter cross the, the, the racetrack, but after arrive uh, the bike of Franco, and in incredible speed, and also the bike of Zarco jump over uh, Vinales, so over Maverick, so we were uh, very lucky, but we hope that uh, this type of things is uh, important for, for improve uh, the behavior of, uh, of uh, the riders in the future. I don't know if you have already speak with Franco and if that's the case, how is he feeling? I, I, I speak with Franco, he is okay. He tried to don't think, but when he think, he is scared. Also, uh, but uh, in this occasion, what makes the difference is, is uh, if uh, nobody hurt. 
So all four riders are okay. So this changes uh, the situation. If uh, something bad happens, is uh, is completely different. Apart from that, and uh, with all that good news that the, all the riders are okay, you are the best uh, Yamaha today. I don't know if you're happy in that uh, part. Was difficult to restart, sincerely, uh, but I don't have a lot of choice. <laughs> So I restarted and uh, in the race I was good, uh, I did a good race. Uh, for us with the Yamaha here it's not easy because we suffer in the top speed. So it's, uh, it's very difficult to fight with the, with the other bikes. But uh, I had a good pace. Unfortunately I had a very, very aggressive uh, overtake from Binder in the turn 9 that pushed me out of the track and we lose a, we lose a lot of time uh, and we lose the first group. Uh, but anyway from that moment uh, I still have uh, a quite good rhythm and, uh, and I, I can arrive in the, in the fifth, fifth place. I think that uh, we can also do better, but it was a good race. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you.